What's up guys, it's Scarlett and in this video I want to talk to you guys about some dating strategies for this pandemic. So we're living in some very weird times and as if dating isn't already challenging enough, now you have this added stressor of getting in trouble for not covering your face, you can't see the person that you're hanging out with, you can't see what people look like. They have masks on so you can't tell if people are attractive or not. You don't know where to meet people because supposedly this deadly virus is going to wipe you out. You've got this added guilt of feeling bad for communicating with people. And I really feel that for you to survive this time and thrive and keep going in your life, you have to really minimize the amount of media that you're listening to and really be grounded in yourself. Take your own safety precautions but don't stop living your life and don't stop going out and meeting people and continue to be human because as humans we really require intimacy and connection and love and to meet people and to find love so I want to share with you some strategies for dating right now. Now I know a lot of people like to use dating apps, but that's actually the least favorite method that I would recommend right now. The first and foremost tip that I would suggest is networking with friends and having get together with your friends and friends of friends where you guys come together. And in this way, it's sort of like if you think about business networking where you go to events, but the goal is you kind of run into new people and you meet different people and you create these new associations. Well, you could do the same thing with dating where if you want to meet up with your friends and ask them to bring their friends, you know, having a, a kickback or a party, a get together at your house and by people networking, kind of bringing people together, you never know, somebody might have a friend or someone that you meet and they end up being someone that sparks your interest or vice versa. So I think networking with friends is a really good way to meet new people right now. The second tip I would suggest is using social media to your advantage. So a lot of people tend to go on social media and maybe scroll through for inspiration or watching videos for entertainment, but social media is a networking tool and it's a way to meet people. So I definitely think that messaging people through Instagram or Facebook, not in a creepy way, but in a friendly, polite way, can be a great way to meet new people. I would suggest finding people that have common interests to you, whose content resonates with you, and messaging them in a friendly way, not you know escalating too quickly, but just creating an initial conversation, and doing that with several people so that you don't take it personally if there's a rejection but just reaching out and getting into that game and getting into putting yourself out there and you'll be surprised by the people who do respond and how you might end up meeting with somebody you might make a new connection and it might lead to something really awesome for you number three strategy i would suggest is doing what you can with these system that you have right now. So doing what you can within the current parameters. So if right now you're not allowed to, you know, meet, um, you're not allowed to go inside nightclubs or bars or you're not allowed to be at social events and concerts where you normally would meet people, I would um, keep an open mind and go to places where there is socializing anyway. So Go to the public places, like go to the beach or go to outdoor restaurants, like go to places where there is more free and open connection and communication and don't be afraid to be human, be social and of course there is going to be people who are paranoid and maybe aren't going to welcome you being friendly and might think treat you like a leper and stuff. But there will be people who are kind of normal and aware and know that, you know, it's there's nothing wrong with talking and initiating conversation. So I would keep a positive mind and go to social places where you can connect with people. 
It's really easy when there, people are going through a hard time to kind of blame circumstances, but the people who are really successful and win at life and win at love are the ones that don't stop, they don't um, get easily beaten down and give up and the same how you see people who are entrepreneurs and they fail and they get back up and they keep going. You have to have that same kind of attitude with love and relationships. You can't just stay home and be isolated and be like, oh, well, it's not my fault, it's COVID and there's nothing I could do about it and whatnot. You have to be that person who creates the opportunity. Sometimes when I'm driving, I think of analogies and especially driving in LA where there's always traffic. Um, I never really have a problem with it because I like to drive strategically and I always notice like when there's this on-ramp there will be this huge line of cars and the, there's people who just will wait in that line like two miles down the freeway just waiting and then there's people that they kind of maybe they're considered assholes by other people but they just kind of drive up and weasel their, their way in and just kind of cut into the on-ramp and I feel like those are the people that kind of win at life and that's kind of like the mentality you have to have is you don't really care so much what people are thinking you don't care about the rules you don't care about society you care about yourself and making yourself happy of course and other people happy in the process but you're just you're not harming other people by being ambitious, going after what you want, and you have to have that same attitude with going after a guy you want or a girl you want. And having that mentality, you'll naturally become creative and you'll naturally find ways to meet people. So I hope this video motivates you to be ambitious, go out, meet new people, keep dating, and make the best of the situation. Don't let the media, don't let people shame you for wanting to be human and don't shame yourself just be real with yourself be real with your needs and your wants and your desires and go after what you really want thanks for watching please like share and subscribe for more videos on dating relationships intimacy attraction seduction and tantra